The Netflix original series from Rand Murphy, The Politician, is finally here. After waiting for more than a month, The Politician is not short on characters with actors like Ben Platt, Gwyneth Paltrow, Jessica Lange, Joey Diaz, Lucy Boynton, Bob Balaban, David Cornsweet, Julia Schaffer, Theo Germani, Laura Dreyfus, Benjamin Barrett, and many others. Peyton Howard, played by Ben Platt, is a wealthy student from St. Sebastian High School, Santa Barbara whose only aim is to become a president of the United States, which he has known since he is seven years old, and this is undoubtedly not so easy dream to achieve. For making his dream a reality, he will have to navigate the treacherous political landscape of St. Sebastian High School and get elected as a student body president. Even after that, he had to spot his place in Harvard and have to outsmart his ruthless political rivals at his high school without sacrificing his well-formed social image and morality. After its release in Netflix on this September 25, many viewers from over the world and almost all major media have given the review. It has got a mixed review from viewers and these critics alike. Most of the viewers have given it a good rating, saying, I really like it, while most of the critics gave it either good or bad reviews. Some of the critics even gave it a 5-star rating, saying it's another dazzling Morphe triumph. It has its trademark hurricane of a narrative that sweeps you up and deposits you breathless and agape somewhere else entirely in an hour later. In this video, we'll compile some of the reviews it has got from its initial day of release. We'll cover reviews from critics as well as viewers too. We'll also summarize the overall review and rating and tell our opinion on whether this show is worth your time or not. In Google, almost 92% of the viewers have liked the show, which is surely going to decrease as many more viewers will start to watch the show and give the reviews. Andrew Barnes in Google Reviews said, just binge on 7 of 8 episodes and I loved every minute of it. Great casting, clever writing, humor and emotions run throughout. Looking forward to the ads and final episode. Jacob Kress said, this is a brilliantly crafted take on politics. Devilishly humorous, I literally laughed out loud. Love it. On Mold Nike said, Really amazing show. Finished the season with a trail for next season. Eagerly waiting for season 2. David Hugh said, Absolutely brilliant. This is a must watch, so I cannot turn Netflix off tonight. Liz and Lit Rocks gave it a 5 stars and said, I really liked it. Honestly, I wish there were more of it. The top review aggregator Rotten Tomatoes gave it a rating of 59% with critics' consensus saying, while the politician can't afford all of its tantalizing promises, it delivers just enough soapy satire in a sumptuous setting to keep Rand Murphy fans invested, though it's unlikely to many new boards. Among the 56 critics, 33 critics have given a positive review, whereas 23 has given a negative one. Philip Snow from the New Republic gave it a positive review, saying, where both election and its source material took deadly aim, the politician's great ambition far outweighs its clarity. Willa Paskin from the Slate gave it a review, saying the Murphy playbook here feels exhausting, counterproductive, and unrealistic, and even downright fearful. Kelly Lawler from USA Today gave it a mixed review, saying, but despite its occasional flaws, politician is relieved to us because it manages to make a fiction stranger than life once more. This is not a small achievement in 2019. Sophie Gilbert from The Atlantic said, It's a daring show that reveals right from the start how wooden and obviously constructed the central character is. Barnegie from Newsday gave it a score of 2.5 out of 4 and said, A crap bag of genders and tone, but Platt is Billy's special indeed. Linda Holmes from NPR said, this isn't particularly great set of episodes, but it shows a lot of flair and it may make you eager to see the next season which seems almost guaranteed even Netflix used deal with Murphy. Zillian Goodman from Bloomberg said, Like Election, the politician is primarily about an ambitious anti-hero who is convinced their entire future hangs on winning the office of a student body president. Unlike Election, which is decidedly satire, the politician at first seems insecure in its self-identity. Matthew Gilbert from Boston Globe said, Highly watchable, its Payton's campaign repeatedly surmounts seemingly unsurmountable problems and when bits of real feeling make it through all the acid humor even tossing. James Ponyzik from New York Times said, The series has enough wit and visual style, though that is pleasure to watch in the moment. Just as long as you don't think beyond the moment. 
Hank Stewart from the Washington Post gave it a negative review. Users don't believe in Platt's character, not as a teenager, not as a politician, not as anything but an overwhelmed actor in the show that struggles to maintain its artistic discipline. Yes, from the reviews above, most of the critics are not seem to be deeply satisfied with this brand new Rand Murphy show, but it's surely not another island. It has both positive and negative aspects and most of the viewers found it enjoyable to watch. If you are a fan of a political drama and don't concerned with the logicality of the plotline, then you might like this show for sure. But if you want a deeper and logical makeup in the shows you watch, this might not be the show for you. Just give few episodes a try and it will surely be hung up for the rest. Don't forget to write a review on the series in the comment section. Also, don't forget to hit like, comment and subscribe button below. If you want to join us in our social feed, link is in the description. Want to hear more from us? Just hit the bell button. Thanks for watching this video. See you again.